this is something I want to show you. Uh, I have spoken about, at least want to sp speak about, uh, the, the pine ends uh, very close to the ground level. And this is, um, is a, the, the rest from an old pine. And inside this, when all the other have, have rotten away, uh, there would be a uh, lot of raisin uh, collected in the, in the core. And this, this uh, raisin we can use as a tinder. Um, and um, uh, you can find almost everywhere in the woods, at, at least here in Scandinavia, but I think that it's the same all around the world. Um, so you just take your axe, like I have done here, with the, and, and cut some slices away from this. Uh, I will show you later on how it works. Hello okay. again. Uh, I have promised you to show you another effective tinder that I usually find in, find in the wood. And this is uh, the bottom end of an old pine tree. Uh, I have taken this, you can uh, you can uh, take take them loose with your with your axe like hit them on them because they are uh, because they are rotten on the outside they are come come uh, loose very gently uh, okay I have um, I have uh, prepared here and uh, I would like to to show you this uh, I have first cut it small pieces here and the special thing about, about this tinder is that it's very full of res resin resin and uh, which helps the, the the fire going and um, if you you smell on it you can smell a very gentle touch of, of resin and uh, this is the thing that will helps the fire go on and as usual you have to work from smaller pieces to larger pieces and that's the the, the main theme here uh, i will try to to light this with my fire striker i'm not sure it will work but uh, i will give it a try and if doesn't, if does does that not works out, I will uh, will go on with a with a regular lighter. Uh, okay, then. So so watch this. Maybe you will learn something from it. And uh, remember that this this type of tender is um, is very uh, commonly found in found in the, in, in the woods, and it's uh, older older trees that is uh, have been taken down or or have fallen down by natural. Uh, I know this is also called fat wood in the United States, uh, sub on, on specific places, and here in Scandinavia, or especially in Sweden, we call this törved or or kärved. Um, okay, this is a little bit about, about the history, and I will try to make this fire go on too. Okay, follow, just follow me, please. <laughs> There is the fire going. I think I can put away my fire striker. I didn't have to use my my backup lighter. That's good. So, as you can see, you have this uh, fire going on, and uh, you can put on some some more of this. Be very very careful in this initial stage because. Still is the, the fire very, very, very weak. So, these fine, fine slices can... In this stage, your fire is very, very vulnerable, so you have to be very careful and handle it very gentle.
try to put these small sticks around here but not take away the the air or the oxygen here for 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 your flames The only tool I have used here, except for making my carpet, is my my axe to to bring it bring up the the end piece and uh, and to to make those uh, those uh, small shells of wood. I will just let it be, so you can watch it burning. I think you get a picture, because uh, now we have a fire going, and uh, I have prepared myself here with some larger pieces. And uh, when I have this this pieces going, I will follow it up with my larger pieces. That's the the um, very basic method of making a reliable fire here in in the, in the out, outdoor environment I'm back here again and as you can see I have my fire going on with this uh, resin wood and um, I don't think there's pretty much to say pretty much more to say about this but I would like to pass on an, an old Indian legacy that I was told some years ago I think it's pretty 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 nice it says that uh, the red man the white man makes large fires and sits a long way from it and the red man makes small fires and sits very close to it. I think that's uh, something to, to carry with you. Make small fires and sit close to them. It will save, save you a lot of, of energy and wood. wood. You have, don't have to collect very much pieces and so on. So that's everything I have for you today. And I hope you have learned something and that this will, will make you a better bushman. That's all for me. Thank you.